welcome to <coughs> the last episode of How to Speak Danish. Um, it's part five, so and it's the last part. And as you can hear, I'm I'm quite sick right now, so you know I'm not you know so it's not gonna be anything special in this video because I feel like shit. You know what I mean? So and I can't really speak properly and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try to give you. Uh, you know, a video too, you know, because I won't fail on you. I gotta make a video. Alright, so uh, I've written down some points that I want to talk about in this video, because I want to talk about famous Danish historical things that um, Denmark is well known for. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Vikings, because um, they're from Denmark, if you didn't know, and um, you probably all, were, all heard a little bit of the story. They're Danish and, and, and a lot of people are proud that they um, that, that you know they're that they're Danish too you know, because of that but I'm not because I think what the Vikings did was wrong and horrible. They went to other countries and um, raped and murdered the people lived, that lived there and, <coughs> and then um, took over the cities you know and that was just wrong. Um, but they did make us one of the biggest countries in the world, so pretty good, I guess. But yeah, you know, so the Vikings, love them or hate them, I personally hate them. And then there is um, H.C. Anderson, which is Hans Christian Anderson, famous Danish author, writer. Um, he made a lot of the stories and books that you know today and uh, but I'm not gonna sit here and mention some of the uh, stories because honestly I don't know the English um, title of them I only know the Danish so but so he was born in 1805 and I think he died in 1974 or something I can't remember don't hang me up on it I just think so and then there is um we have the world's oldest amusement park, which is called Bakken. It's over 500 years uh, old, so that's pretty old. So, so yeah, that's pretty great too. And it's still up and running, you know, in the summer season. And then there is uh, the Little Mermaid, which you probably all know. Um, I don't think we can be so proud of that, honestly, because this is the figure. Um, but we lent it out to. China, I believe, or something. Anyway, um, it's in Copenhagen, and a lot of tourists that come to Denmark, they come to Denmark to see that um, the Little Mermaid. And then there is butter, of course. Um, we have to be proud of that because we made it. Um, we invented the butter, and um, and that's pretty cool. Um, but you know. Still, you know, love it or hate it, but I'm pretty proud that Denmark made butter because, again, that's one way of getting Denmark out there and known in the rest of the world. There's also one more thing, and that's a person, and his name is uh, Henrik Scharfe. I don't know if you heard about him. He's a robot uh, man. He made a robot copy of himself. Uh, and then I just want to tell you the reason why I made this I speak to any show. It's because, honestly, I've had the feeling that nobody knows what Denmark is. Um, like, if you go to another country and ask people, what are Denmark? They maybe know it's a country, but they don't know what we stand for. They don't know what's great about Denmark. And they, you know, they don't know shit about it. We're not world famous like that. So that's why I wanted to talk about that. So anyway, that was that for this time, you guys. Sorry my voice isn't all cleared and I'm sick, but yeah, be sure to subscribe right up there. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.